All right, in this video, we're gonna quickly go over shipping settings. So we'll go to settings, and shipping is one of those things where there isn't really a one size fits all solution. Kind of depends on your products and where you're sending them from and where you're shipping them to. Uh, and there's kind of a lot of different solutions that you can come up with. And there's also a lot of different third party apps that you'll find in the App Store that can help with shipping. If you need to like charge shipping for certain products only and you have a lot of products or if you've got really heavy products or that kind of thing. There's also some apps that uh, help compare prices like um, Shippo and Pirate Ship that are popular that a lot of people use. But I'm going to show you just um, some real basic quick and easy ways to get started. And we just go to shipping and delivery here. And usually I find that it's better to kind of just come up with an easy solution that works and get started and then refine that as you go. And a lot of times that might mean just kind of estimating what your average shipping cost is and kind of making flat rates. Um, but just to go over shipping here. So here's our shipping profile. And in Shopify, you have a shipping profile, which includes a list of products. In this case, it's all products. And this is our, this is the default shipping profile that gets made by Shopify. And uh, the profile uh, contains rates for products and to shipping zones. In this case, we've got domestic and rest of world. So we're just going to manage rates and basically edit this shipping profile. And you can see these are all the products. It just automatically adds all our products to this general shipping profile. <clears throat> and we ship from this address. And then we have shipping zones within our profile. So the first zone here is domestic and is United States. And then the next zone is rest of world. And that's all the countries that we haven't set specific rates for. And these are also uh, some rates that Shopify has created by default when we set up the store. Yours might look the same, they might look different. I'm, I'm not sure if they, it'll change them or not. And you could even just use these if you wanted. Um, it's, by, it's by weight. You can set rates by weight or by price of the shopping cart. And these just have flat fees on them. And then this is another popular option is to just uh, at a certain price offer free shipping. So that can make it, uh, that can keep your shipping real simple. And of course, there's always working your, your shipping costs into your products and offering free shipping on everything. That, that tends to uh, boost your conversion rate up because people love free shipping. Um, but in this case, uh, all right, first thing I'm gonna do actually is edit this a little bit because for right now, I wanna just ship to the United States, but I don't wanna ship to the entire United States. So I'm gonna edit this zone and we'll just search for United States here. And this is the zone name, but customers don't see that. And you can see United States, 62 states. Hmm, surprise, right? So um, we're gonna uncheck a couple things here that I don't wanna worry about shipping to it in the meantime. American Samoa, Micronesia, Guam, Hawaii, not gonna ship there right now. Marshall Islands, and a couple more here. Mariana Islands, Wow. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and the Armed Forces will uncheck for now, but you can leave them if you want. I'm just making our shipping real simple to get started here. So we've got 50, uh, you know what, I missed one. Don't want to go to Alaska either. All right, cool. And now we've got uh, my zone set up, and I'm going to actually delete these rates and just show you how to make a new one and a couple different ways to do it. So we've got no rates. And since we have no rates, customers can't check out at the moment for the United States. So we'll add a rate. 
and you can set up your own rates and just name it whatever you want. These are here because they've already existed, but you can make your own and set a price and then you can add conditions and you can base it by the product weight or on order price. So that's an easy way to go. You know, if you want to charge $5 for shipping on orders under $50, and then make another rate that's orders over $50 and make it free shipping. That's an easy way to do that. I'm going to click use carrier and drop this down and go USPS for now. And I'll go first class package and priority mail for now. And you can even add a handling fee if you want to add on top of that. But I'm just going to click done and this will calculate what uh, the post office is going to charge based on the weight. And I'm going to just go with that for right now. And then uh, rest of world, you can see they've got DHL and USPS set up. I don't want to ship there at the moment, so I'm just going to delete these rates and customers won't be able to uh, complete a checkout right now so I can work those out later. And I'll click save and then we'll go back to the settings because there's one more thing we're gonna do here so I, I had it calculating from USPS and that works you know that's gonna work for us it might not work for you just depending like you might find you can get better rates somewhere else or you can use a third-party app and get better rates or maybe you have a lot of custom packages or something that you've got a certain rate on uh, the rate that I've got set up in there is going to use this package uh, that has been created by Shopify by default to calculate its rates so I'm just gonna edit that uh, real quick actually I'm gonna add a package because most of what we ship will be in soft packages and you can either you can even click here and use carriers packages maybe all you ship with is one of the post offices boxes that'll work really good for you but I'm just gonna put a little bag here we'll go like this uh, inches we'll go 0.1 and set as the default that way it'll use this package to calculate um, rates add the package and now we've got that and this is other stuff for sh printing labels and even if you actually have an account with you know UPS or FedEx you can connect those as well but for now that's real simple and that's gonna work for us I think for now so I'll just show you we'll go to the front end of the store here and we'll click a product add to cart and view cart check out oh and here we go I was already uh, I already went through the checkout process once and it uh, Enter, I entered my address info so here's the rates that it calculated from USPS and first class package three dollars USPS seven dollars this is gonna work for us and uh, we'll see you in the next video